if the Menendez brothers get released, I can tell you right now, I can tell you right now, we're going to have a lot to talk about here. We're going to have to split time between the Menendez brothers, Gypsy Rose, and my other topics. So sorry, Gypsy Rose Blanchard, we're going to have to split some of that attention towards you. Pay attention to the questions that LA District Attorney is being asked by Good Morning America. Was there one piece of evidence that came to light that got you and was one of the deciding factors in your decision? Well, there were many, right? I mean, look, they were in prison for 35 years and they had no hopes of ever getting out. And yet they went on to not only do things to better themselves, but they spent a lot of time working and helping other prisoners. So George Gascon was asked, what was the evidence, right, that made him feel like they should be released, that this whole thing should change? He didn't answer the question. He just simply said that they have been doing a lot of work while in prison, okay? This means in prison, while they have been monitored the whole entire time. I am not saying they didn't go through abuse. I believe they went through abuse, although they are claims, all right? Then he was asked the following question. What do you tell people in your own office who say these two young men clearly premeditated this murder? We're not letting them off, okay? First of all, I have to be very clear. Those were brutal murders. They were premeditated, and that's why they got life without the possibility. But you are recommending that they be released essentially immediately. I am recommending that they be released because I believe that the people that they were is not the same people that we're seeing 35 years later. So if they brutally unalived their parents, what is the point of getting them out? What is the point? Because he believes that they are different people 35 years later? Because he believes that? Or because he is currently 24 points under and basically is desperate for votes? Literally, is not known and is desperate for votes. If I was Judge Ryan, I would absolutely be very careful because in my opinion, it is not the same to see two people living a whole lifetime, literally, in prison, believing that that's going to be their home. Yes, they're going to grow because a lot of people, that's what they do. They grow, they help in prison. A lot of people get out for good behavior. Yes, but these are two individuals that decided not to go to law enforcement. They decided to allegedly steal money, go on a shopping spree, all right? What is going to guarantee, what really guarantees that outside the bars, they are going to be exemplary citizens. If they mess up, it's going to be on George and on Judge Ryan. Let's take it now to the video that I recorded this morning. Kim Kardashian says never stop questioning. Well, I am going to be questioning too, especially Kim Kardashian, a person who has ties to P. Diddy and a person who uses nannies to raise her kids. We're going to be reacting today to Kim Kardashian's inside and LA District Attorney recommendation to release the Menendez brothers. Welcome to the show, Sarah. This is Melissa Terra's mom. You're going to be able to find this video in my playlist, Menendez Brothers Case. This would be my second video, so there's not much to see, but I plan on keep adding more of these videos because I know that there's a lot of stuff that's going to be coming out. The Menendez brothers are expected to be released within the next six months. A lot of relatives are expecting or wanting for them to be released before Thanksgiving, but according to a lot of outlets and reporters, this may not be possible because their case has still to go through several rounds, including the final recommendation from the judge and then going into the parole board, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. There is a lot that may take place just like it happened, for example, in the case of Gypsy Rose Blanchard where everybody was supporting her in the beginning, right? And just a couple months after her release, everybody turned their backs on her, right? This may happen as well. 
for the Menendez brothers. And you know why, in my opinion? It's because the Menendez brothers are a danger to society. Let me explain. Please remember that this video is only for entertainment purposes only. What you hear here may be my assumption, may be alleged, my opinion, my reaction, my insight. No professional legal advice, no professional financial advice, no professional advice whatsoever. Please do your own research. Let's remember that the Menendez brothers, regardless of their abuse case, which is completely separate from this, were charged with two cases of unaliving, premeditated unaliving of their parents. Whereas the Menendez brothers, let's remember that they were full grown adults and that they could have walked out while they were grown adults and have said something to law enforcement, have sought help. And a lot of people are going to say, oh, well, you don't know until you are in that situation. Yes, a lot of people have been in that situation. But how many of them have resorted to un premeditated on a living? Not all of them, right? Because not all of them resort to that. Because when you're a person that has their mind in the right place and a person that has good intentions... You don't just premeditate and plan and unaliving. You go seek for help. That would be the natural instinct, right? But the Menendez brothers instead decided to inflict many wounds. And afterwards, after they committed the unaliving, they decided to go on a shopping spree, allegedly, right? Everything that you hear here may be alleged. My assumption, my opinion, my reaction. So the Menendez brothers decided to go out on a shopping spree and by giving the excuse of wanting to take away the feeling of not being alive. Can you imagine the amount of children and adults that have been abused? Lots of folks in prison that need to be released then, but they don't get attention because either they didn't come from a wealthy family or didn't just go viral. Oh, and I guess they didn't get a nice Netflix show. That wish they had all the money that they could to be able to heal. We all know that money or material things will help heal a truly abused person. That person is going to seek help immediately. That person is not going to refuse any kind of emotional help. We're the public and we're going to talk. And I know that this video is not going to get me a lot of views because I know which videos get me a little bit more views than the others. But this topic is a topic that I also want to weigh in because I know that if they do get released, once they get released, you're going to give it a few months after that. There's going to be a lot of people turning their backs on them. Why? Because they're going to be scared of having them around. They know what they're capable of. They know what they will resort to in order to escape anything or get away with anything such as any financial gain. All right. So when it comes to Kim Kardashian, I mentioned this the last time. Kim Kardashian She's, you know, here saying, oh, yeah, they have paid their debt to society. It's time for them to get out. Kim Kardashian forgets that they had a life sentence without the possibility of parole. And Kim Kardashian forgets that these men are going to be free out there around children. Now, let me ask you something. Do you feel like Kim Kardashian would be comfortable having those men around in her house? And a lot of people will say, well, why would she have two grown men around her kids? Well, they're going to be free out there. Kim Kardashian has a lot of men around her kids. 
people that work with her and everything. But do you think that those kids would be feeling completely comfortable around two people that decided to take a route that they didn't have to? No. The Menendez brothers are still a threat to society, in my opinion. All right? I'm going to say that, in my opinion, the LA District Attorney, George Gascon, in an attempt to make sure that the elections are on his favor, cites desperation, cites Netflix show as a reason for him to have come to this conclusion. How convenient that is. And of course, if he had this opinion, he was also going to have not only the support from the Menendez family, he was going to have the support from Kim Kardashian. Really nice shout out that he just got this morning. George Gascon ironically says, well, I am not justifying that you have to unalive your abusers. But what I am saying is, oh, somewhere along these lines, that they were in a state of desperation. You know what? He should have just kept that to himself and just said, they have paid their debt to society. Because how ridiculous and silly you sound by saying, well, they're in, in an act of desperation. So now are you telling the children in our current society that if you are in a state of desperation, they are justified to commit unaliving, please. Now, I know that this case, between this case and between the case of Gypsy Rose Blanchard, there's a lot of um, division because I know that a lot of the people that speak against the case of Gypsy Rose Blanchard are in favor of the Menendez brothers, but I am one of those people that I am not. You know, I am very particular with um, every case and I do believe that there was no justification and I do believe that the life sentencing should have just stayed there, period. What does a Netflix show have to do? What does a Netflix show have to do with anything? What does Kim Kardashian have to do with anything? I have something to say to the LA District Attorney, George Gascon. This instant gratification that he is getting right now, he may pay for it later on. Because when the Menendez brothers get out and one of them messes up for the first time, all of them are going to look like clowns. All of them that were defending them. Because don't you think that there's going to be full support? Remember the case of Gypsy Rose Blanchard? A lot of stuff is going to start coming out. People are going to start pulling stuff out. Instant gratification is never good. We are going to see it. And once anything like that happens, of course, I'm going to be talking about it here. Thank you for watching. You guys have a good day. Bye.